YouTube is bigger. Welcome back to Blue Line Morphs, guys. I hope everybody's doing really, really well. Uh, through the northeastern area of the United States, so maybe up in Canada too, you're probably getting blasted by snow. We got about two feet of snow. You look straight down, you can kind of see a little better. But I kind of dumped it really this. I'll show you. I dumped the water earlier. Look. You kind of see. No, you can't see shit. Whatever. There's like two feet of snow out there. That being said, I'm not going anywhere because I drive a hybrid now. And, uh, so I spent the whole morning kind of cleaning the reptile room. Everything's doing really well in here, guys. A lot of the girls, with using the ultrasound, a lot of the girls' behavior makes a lot of sense now. Kind of like, for example, this girl right here. Oh, uh, this girl right here, rather. She's a big old normal pod. She is thick and she's refusing food. You want to know why? She's at like 35 millimeter follicles. So we're looking for that ovulation. I didn't think she was that far along, but again, ultrasound comes in handy. I'll do full videos on all that shit. But today's video is going to be all about that clutch, my... The clutch I cut, nah, when we cut it, frankly, two weeks ago, give yeah, or take. That, if you guys haven't paid attention to the channel, uh, I'll show you the parents off real quick. They're all shed out, so I'm really excited about that. This is Mama Bear. She's been back on food eating like a savage. She's a big old pastel clown pod female. Really good looking animal. I love this animal. And then over here, I'll bring the male out. This is my Aussie pod boy. We did move him over to the small area, like I told you guys, trying to get his ass back on food. Here's the mom and the dad. They're going to go in different directions now, look, see? They're all these jerks. So this right here is my orange dream yellow belly fire leopard pastel pied male from Ozzy Boyd. He's about 650 grams. He's a shitty eater, but no big deal. He's a proven now, right? This right here is my other proven breeder, obviously. Big old pastel clown pied female. She's back on food. And I think she's already over 2,000 grams. I'm excited about that. Hopefully we can get her breeding with one of her sons that we have behind me in about a year, give or take. That's the plan, at least. But with that being said, now that you guys have seen the parents for this... 400th time, make sure everyone's going back in their holes, back in their hides, he's slowly doing his thing. By the way, this week, guys, I'm going to try to feed him and the leopard stranger clown uh, male in the small tubs or smaller ASFs, try to get them back on food. If not, we are going to use the Da Vinci shit. I'm, I'm going to have Frankie here film a video of us giving this to the snakes. Uh, so let's get right into this. Now, we had five eggs, and we also had two slugs. Um... Don't really know why that was. Everything seemed to do really well. Sometimes shit happens. But let's get right into this. Everybody shut out. Now, if you remember, I really wanted to hit an orange dream, yellow belly, fire, leopard, pied, het clown male. One of the snakes, only one of the snakes is without pastel. One of them is super pastel. So we didn't get crushed by the odds. I'm happy one doesn't have pastel in it. And it's kind of what I wanted to hit. But I'll show you that one last because I'm a dick. So let's get right into this. I had, The ratio was two to three. Two males and three females. I'll show you the first male real quick, and I'll show you the male I'm keeping uh, in the end. This is the smallest egg, if you guys remember. He's super tiny, um, really active, chilling. They're gonna probably get their first meal from uh, Big E's Reptiles shortly, but obviously, guys, he's pastel, right? I believe he's also yellow belly, because you look right here, he's got the pixelation going on. Now, he's not quite bright orange like the other ones you'll see in a little bit, so I believe he is a pastel yellow belly fire pied het clown male. Now, just, just to let you guys know, he will be available because you'll see the male I'm keeping shortly. But really good looking animal. Now, again, guys, leopard could be hidden in there. Orange room could be hidden in there. I don't think so. I'm obviously going to give them time to uh, get a couple of meals in them. One more shed before I make the final determination of what I think it is. But as of right now, guys, really good looking male. I believe he is pastel yellow belly fire pied het clown. Maybe Leo. Not entirely. I don't think so. Uh, only he does have that black back there, but it's not as clean looking, as thick, the dorsal stripes I'd like to see, which we'll see in a, another animal in a second. But solid male to kick off the clutch. Uh, he will probably be available eventually. Not entirely sure what he is yet. We can get home meals in him. One more shed, and then we'll figure it out. He is the smallest of them all. If you remember from that small, small egg, uh, which I think he pipped, right? Was he one of those to pip? He's the first one. Yeah, he was the first one to pip. He's the first guy of the egg. He's, I think he's about 45, 50 grams. Now, he's kind of the size of the Harlem was, and now she's 1,800 grams. But solid male. Really cool, happy with them. Let me show you this girl right here. This girl right here, if you guys follow me on TikTok, I just started it, we're closing in on a thousand followers. Go follow me on TikTok. Uh, this is the girl that tried to bite me in the TikTok. She's probably gonna do it here too, cause she's, yeah, 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 maybe. There we go. All right, she's feisty as can be. I guarantee you she'll probably be the first one to eat. So this is the only super pastel, okay? She's obviously super pastel, two copies of the gene. She's got leopard in her too, if you look back over here. 
nice black behind the ears, nice thick eye stripes, then the lines bound the back that are really narrow. Now she's also fire. The reason why I believe fire is you got this, this the coloration here is not that bright yellow or that bright orange, and also it just kind of dulls out here. And normally when you get these, uh, the fire involved in pied, it's only a very high white pied animal. As you can see here, it's fucking super white. Um, but you do have these some of this pixelation here that's kind of orange. You see, Frankie? Can you see? It's Catching up, catching you, shaking head yes? All right, cool, perfect. So this girl right here, I believe, is super pastel, fire, leopard, possibly yellow belly, because this kind of pixelation, but it's orange, so I'm not entirely sure. Yellow belly, possibly yellow belly, or orange dream. But I'm pretty confident she's super pastel, um, fire, and then uh, leopard with either yellow belly or orange dream maybe thrown in there. Really cool looking animal. Again, I'm interested to see how she changes once we get some meals in there, one more shed. Now I can make that final determination that I talk to a few more people and kind of get it moving. But really good looking animal, right? Cool. Nice and pearlescent. Right? Gorgeous. That's yeah. how I want to get one more meal in her, let her shout out one more and try to get this picture. You look, there's, there's these little pixelation all over the place. Little like dots of like orange. Can you see it? Yeah. Really interesting, right? Cool animal. Pisces as can be. She's probably, she got a hold of me a couple times already. Let's go on to, these two are the holdbacks, by the way. Guaranteed holdbacks. The next three I show you, that girl may be available. Not entirely sure. The next three I don't think are going to be available. Things can change. These top two are definitely not available. This girl's up in arms right now. We're not entirely sure. Let me show you this girl. And remind me later if I forget. After I'm going to show this girl, then I'm going to show off the one male. Then I'm going to show off the last girl. I want to compare that male to this girl and show you why I think you can tell the two different genetics. So this girl right here, I think she's got quite a bit of genes in her. I believe she is a pastel ODYB, pied heck clown. Uh, reason why, obviously we know she's pastel. Just the blushing in the head and the bright on the sides here. But also, if you look, she's got the pixelation for yellow belly. And she's kind of got that orange look to her. You know, like over here, it's like really yellow looking. Here, you got the orange in it. Then if you look, I'll show you, uh, if you look at the first male, how she, you remember that male is like a lot more dull, Frankie? Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. um, and she's a little more, a little more orange. I don't believe there's leopard in there, just because it has kind of this flaming all over the place, which is indicative of yellow belly. And once you have that pastel and yellow belly, once you have that uh, leopard involved there, it kind of cleans it up, makes a nice and thick dorsal stripes, which you'll see later on. It might be good this, for the thumbnail. Yeah. To compare the two of them. Maybe. All right. Live action. So that's what I think this girl is. Kind of this weird little blushed out right here. But I believe she's a pastel uh, OD, yellow belly pied, heck clown. Uh, really good looking female. Kind of don't really know if she's staying or not. She may be staying. She's, I'm on the fence with her staying. Uh, really good looking animal though. Uh, bright, vibrant, active. Nice size to her too. She was like the second biggest egg. Now guys, all these IDs I'm giving now... It's kind of hard for me, right? We all knew I'm new, I'm rookie, I'm, I'm borderline incompetent. So um, that the genes involved in that male is over here now. The orange, green, the yellow belly, the fire, and all this closer to pastel. They all kind of play with each other. So I am learning as we go. So if you're seeing these animals and I'm IDing them, explaining why I'm IDing them with such, and you disagree, by all means, comment down below, message me, help me out here. But I am using this male for a lot of different projects, and I have to get good at IDing these animals. But I think I'm doing okay. All right. So let's check out my holdback male. Now, if you remember, um, there was one animal that didn't have pastel in it, right? Remember, Frankie? I was like, I'm praying it's a male. Um, all right. It was not a male. It was a female. Um, which sucks, because it would almost be perfect. That's the last animal you're going to see. I'll show you my powerhouse male that I'm keeping. Um, I'm pretty happy with him. Again, you can't win them all, right? It is what it is. So let me show you the male I'm keeping. He's really, really cool. Really happy with him. This boy, I believe, is Pastel OD YB uh, Leopard, okay? Now I have shown this male to a couple of different people. Some people think there's also fire in there. Um, I believe he, obviously Pastel, right? The blushing right there in the head. I believe he's leopard because look how tight these lines are here. It kind of cleans it up a lot. And I also believe it's that clean because of orange dream. They do have the, specul the speckles kind of over here, which I believe is uh, leopards kind of doing that also right here and here. Now we do have the pixelation on the sides here, Frankie. Can you see that? Right? The pixelation kind of broken up there. That's indicative of yellow belly. We know that. And he's also not... Uh, really yellow, yellow, and the, the orange kind of comes through with the orange dream, and it kind of cleans him up. So before I show you off that female, let me show you the other female real quick to show you what I was talking about, Frankie. You have to remind me, I remember. <laughs> oh, you like my shirt, Frankie? I do. My mom got it for me. <laughs> Not bad, right? I'm a loser. I don't give a shit. Okay, so now check this out. So now if we look here, look how clean he is, Frankie, with these dorsal stripes. You see him? And look how 
see the flaming and stuff, how it's coming down here on the female? That's why I believe he's got leopard, because it kind of cleans that up really nicely. Then if you look at his head back over here, it has a nice thick eye strap that kind of bends down. And this girl is not as th thick. See how thick his, his head is? Look, look at uh, the eye stripe. See how thick it is? Mm -hmm. Now look at her. She's, she's really thin, right? Plus you look at like the back pattern. Oh, that's good. Can you get, can you get that, Frankie? Yeah, I got both. All right, cool. So if you look, the male, how thin and clean it is. That's why I believe leopard that play there. Now, I do believe these are the same except for leopard. I believe they're both pastel. I believe they're both orange dream. They're both yellow belly. I believe this male right here has leopard in him while this female does not. All right, can you see the difference there, Frankie? The color range is almost the same. This guy is much cleaner because I think leopard kind of cleans it up with the orange dream. That's what I'm going with. That's what I believe, okay? Really cool. Plus, look, look down here. Really cool looking animals, right? I'm really happy with these two, to be honest with you. As I'm looking at him, shit, she might be fucking staying. All right, let's put him back. Let me show you the crown. Like, he, this guy is kind of the crown jewel of the clutch. Because now, guys, remember, I really want Orange Dream, Yellow Belly. And now, there's been no fire in my pie project, which kind of suck. Not overly concerned about that. Just because um, fire does make it a very high white snake. I kind of want to get a lot of pattern in there, okay? Like, I can get that pastel out of here. But he's going to be my powerhouse, all right, guys? So I'm going to take that Orange Dream that yellow belly and that leopard and throw it to all my head, my double head girls, so forth and so on, and my visuals. So now, this was the last animal I'm gonna show you. This girl is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I could not be happier with this girl. I kind of wish it was a male, but I'm not overly concerned that it, it's not the male. Um, I'm very happy with the male I'm keeping, but let's check her out. This is the only animal without pastel, she is without a doubt, orange dream, leopard, pied, het clown. I, I'm a little, I don't know. See, there is some pixelation down here, Frankie, you see it? Kind of see the flaming, the pixelation on the side there. At first I thought she was orange dream, yellow belly, leopard, but I kind of think she might just be OD, leopard. Uh, definitely leopard, uh, again, the clean, see the clean dorsal stripes. Remember what I was talking about before, Frankie, with the male? See the clean and tight, mm -hmm. kind of little pixelation, the male kind of has that where the other girl kind of has that flaming and she doesn't have that flaming either. So the orange dream and the, the leopard really go nice, light, nicely together, at least I think so. So this girl right here is without a doubt a hold back. She's probably the crown jewel of this clutch. Uh, the male's a savage, but I'm really happy with this. Really happy to get one without pastel in it. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, again, too, Frank, if you look at the nice thick eye stripes, you see them on the back of the head there. Again, indicative of leopard, but Really cool looking animal, guys. What do you guys, comment down below. You think there's yellow belly in this girl? She's super vibrant, man. A little bit of pixelation on the belly there. Obviously the bright white belly because of uh, pie bowl. But either way, guys, I'm going to raise this girl up. Nice OD leopard, bare minimum, possible YB in there. Going to let her get a little older and see what happens. Absolutely phenomenal animal. Really gorgeous. Do I wish this was the girl? Kind of. I mean, a male rather. Yeah, kind of. But you know what? I don't mind raising her up and hopefully putting her back to her brother eventually. Maybe making some super OD pot. Uh, Super OD clown pies in the future. But either way, guys, very happy with this clutch. Um, it definitely turned out better than I thought. I think we hit a lot of nice combos. I was a little concerned that maybe I'll get kind of skunked. Maybe just hit a lot of like one or two gene pies with that our head clown. We did fairly well in there, guys. Again, all these IDs that I just did, these IDs, are kind of preliminary. I'm going to have to feed them, get one more shed out of them, uh, set them around a little bit, and try to get some... Uh, opinions of people that I value them, that know what they're doing, essentially, because I don't. Uh, other than that, though, I think they did an okay job. Comment down below, what do you guys think? Um, I'm more concerned about the top two animals I just showed you, right? They did a pretty good job by deeing them. But again, guys, that one male, the first male will be available. Uh, possibly that super pastel girl will be available also. Not entirely sure. Um, and maybe that other female might be also available. The only two definitely not available is the last two I just showed you. Um, but again, let me get some meals in them. One more shed. Make sure we're, we get a, a nice, good uh, IDing. I think we did a pretty good job, though. So, other than that, though, guys, that's the clutch. Really excited about that. Wednesday's video, Frankie doesn't know it yet. I'm going to have to borrow him. We're going to be giving that Da Vinci serum to uh, a couple of the snakes. Uh, if the two males eat this weekend for me, not them, but some of the other animals that are all for food. So, we're going to give it uh, a shot. And I'm going to show you how to not stick it down the Jacob organ and do it the right way. And we'll learn together. And then we'll give you updates on this, this, if this shit actually works. I'll tell you right now, I tried the vanilla extract. Whoop, this stuff right here. And the two boys, you know, I don't know. They like chocolate or some shit. I have no idea. Didn't do anything. Either way, guys, listen, I appreciate you watching. Uh, good luck digging out. I'm just going to fucking let it melt and sit here. Thank God it was over this. Well, I'm already, you know, regular days off. I'm not doing a goddamn thing. And it is...
3.30. I'm going to get drunk now, and I'll blow this video. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. Comment down below. Agree, disagree. Help me out here. Um, send me DMs on my Instagram. Uh, let's talk about it. Be safe. Please remember, watch six. Thank <laughs> you.